Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to convert a column list of data or just a bunch of rows of data into a list of comma separated values. Um, basically, turn this column data into this. So we have our list of values separated by commas. Now, they don't have to be separated by commas. You can have them separated by semicolons or pipes or whatever you want to separate them out. But basically, uh, why would we want to do this is sometimes we may have a column list and we want to have them all separated by commas because we want to put it into copy and paste this all into another application and maybe that other application uh, maybe we're, we're running a query and it only has one field for us to enter um, data that it's separated by commas so if we have a hundred or thousands of rows of this data. We don't want to go one by one and copy it into uh, another cell to create our list of values. So what we want to do is make have a, have a nice and easy way, quick way to do this. So let me go ahead and just uh, delete this and I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So the first thing we need to do is basically bring in this value here. So you just do an equal sign, select A2, press enter, and we just basically copied it over. In the next cell, what we want to do is use the concatenation function. So put equal sign, C-O-N-C, that kind of gives us the last um, uh, selection, which is concatenate. I just press tab to complete that. Now our first text here is going to be the cell A3, and we'll put a comma here to separate it. And the next text, the next uh, value or input we're going to put in there is the comma. And we need to put the comma in between quotes. So it's going to be open quote, comma, and then close quote. And then here, you know, we like I mentioned before, if you don't ha need to have a comma, it could be a semicolon or any other character you want to put. Now the third text value, put a comma here. The third text value is going to be the cell above. So select the cell above, press shift, and close shift the close parentheses, and press enter. Now I've got my two values here, basically. This value and the one above. So let me go back into the cell B3. And I want to see this, see this little fill handle? Just go ahead and double click that. And it's going to copy the formula down. So basically what it did was when it copied the formula down, it copied this cell and what are the values are in that cell. And so it just repeats that down all the way down until you get to the bottom. And now we have this whole column list, now this is all in one row. But if we select this row, we can see that it's still the formula. In most cases, you can probably just copy it as is, Control-C, and copy it into your other application where you want to paste this. If it doesn't let you, what you can do is also just copy that. I think I just press Control-C, and just select another cell and do a paste values. Not formulas, but values. And if we look in this cell, we're in B102 we can see that it did copy all the values for us. So this is the hopefully quick and easy way for you to take a columnist or roll of data and put together a list of comma separated values or CSV um, list of CSV values. We well, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.